Okay, so today is February 20th, right now it's about 11 p.m., and at about 9 o'clock I finished my third interview so far, and right now I feel like crap. <laughs> I haven't had a decent night's sleep in, I think, about three days, and I'm not going to get a good night's sleep tonight either. Um... My nerves have just been running so high. I've had a lot of highs and lows. And I still don't know what to do. Um, I got... Uh, I had an interview. I'm sorry. If I'm, I'm, I really should not be doing a video right now. Because I'm like delirious. Um, and I should not have done my interview tonight. Because I'm pretty sure I was... I don't even want to think about it. But, um, I lost my train of thought, of course. I have to be at work tomorrow at 7 a.m., which means I should be asleep because I have to get up at like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, but I only just ate. I didn't want to eat before the interview, and I was sort of really tired and irritable because I haven't had any sleep and I've worked with, you know, I've been working full shifts in between and um I didn't want to be like groggy from a nap for my interview yesterday or for today. They were both at about eight o'clock. Um uh the one last night went well. I got an a, a sort of like a job offer overnight, which was very good. Um, this one didn't seem to go as good as the others. I don't think I'll be getting a response back, or at least not a positive response back. But I don't, I prefer to have the third job, but, the, I mean, it's probably enough. I mean, there's pros and cons for all three. The first one I don't think I'm going to go with. The second one I'd like to go with is just the same problem I'm having with the first one. It's such short notice and a little shady. <laughs> it doesn't have such great reviews online, but I'm willing to take the risk just to get over there. I really am willing to take the risk. <laughs> and um, the third one would start a lot later in the year which would give me some time to prepare. Um, but I don't want to do it as much. It's um, it's like a, a more private, than, uh, it's not public school, so I don't want to try working in public school. I prefer to do that. But this, the third one has a much better opportunity, it's much more stable, and I'd be making more and therefore saving more. But that's probably why I didn't get it. <laughs> um, you know, the other jobs don't offer very much, and, I mean, they didn't ask for nearly as much as the third job asked for. So, that's probably why I'm even getting a response back from them, because, I don't know, an easy target or something like that, I don't know. Um, so, that's part of the reason why I'm kind of feeling like crap. Um... I have so much to think about. I have so much to do. Right now, I feel like I should just accept the second offer and then just, you know, do everything that I have to do in order to get over there. And another part of me is like, Jackie, don't rush things. But I wanted to see how the interviews went. So since last night was successful and it's a better offer than the second, I mean, then the first, and then it's like, you might as well take the second. But what if I take the second, and then it turns out that the third one was nearly as bad as I thought it was, and they actually do want me to work for them, but they didn't tell me until two weeks later. Which, if you tell me that you're going to get back to me within two weeks, that kind of lets me know that you're not going to get back to me. <laughs> it's like, oh, you'll be waiting, all right? You'll be waiting for your whole life, because we're not going to contact you. But, um, cause, I mean, can you imagine if somebody, if you went to a job interview, they're like, okay, we'll let you know in two weeks. But it's not the kind of position where they need, it needs to be filled right away. So, I can understand why you know, they want to take their time. 
but at the same time, it just seemed like a no. Um, but I don't want to miss the opportunity, and that that's my biggest problem right now. I guess maybe doing all of these application bombs was a bad idea, but I don't I don't really know. I mean, a person wants to be able to shop around. You know, if if I get yeses, I want to be able to get the best yes. I don't want to be stuck with the so-so yes. You know, um, the main idea is just that I get over there. I mean, let's be frank. I just need to get over there. Um, I can do it for a year. I mean, working everything out. If I were to go with the first company, I would break even after an, after an entire year. If I go with the second company, it would probably be about the same. If I were to go with the third company, I would be able to not have to break my lease or not have to worry about making payments on this apartment while I'm overseas, and therefore I'd be able to start saving right away, which would be awesome. And so the next question is, why don't I just wait until September? Because I want to go now. <laughs> So it's like, Jackie, yeah, you have to choose. Do you want to go now and waste two to three thousand dollars, or do you want to wait until after the lease is up and there's another hiring season, July, September, October? That's not how the months go. <laughs> July, August, September. I am so sleepy. I should not have done that interview. Oh my god. I asked the guy. I said, so. So the pay is supposed to be 2,500 yen, right, a, m um, a month? And he was like, yeah, that's like $30. <laughs> and I was like, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. I have a lot to think about. I want to be able to rationalize the situation. But, uh, like I said, there's a part of me that just doesn't give a f uh, I don't know, curse. When I'm tired or when I'm angry, I curse like, every other sentence. Or sometimes multiple times in one semi-sentence. I want to make a smart decision. I want to make an informed decision. There's no sense in me going over there early, wasting money, and having to be like the worst experience of my life because I didn't allow myself to get an opportunity from a good company. That would be stupid. But at the same time, I don't want to have to wait. Logic is telling me, Jackie, wait, take your time, allow different, another, you know, opportunities to come up. If you've gotten two yeses so far and you've only been at this for two months, I mean, give it time. And there's always South Korea too. If I feel like what's working out, what's going on with Japan isn't working out, I'll have a couple of months still to get everything I need to get together for applying to jobs in Korea and then try to make one of those work. But Korea is a much better opportunity. I just don't want to go to Korea. Like, if they were to ask me, so what interests you about Korea? Not a single thing. I can't think of one interesting thing about Korea. And that's not saying that Korea does not have interesting things about it. I just don't know any of them. <laughs> I don't know anything about Korea. I know there's South Korea, and I know there's North Korea, and I know that I'm not going to North Korea. That's all I know. <laughs> that is all I know. And you know what else I know? I swear to God, I'm not drunk. I'm just tired. I need to get it off my chest, though. Because it happened tonight, and that was an important event, and I'm supposed to report every important event, and I had two interviews in a row. So anyway... Tomorrow I have to work in the morning again. I will get all of three, four hours of sleep. I'll be a zombie throughout my whole shift. And then dinner at the Cheesecake Factory, because it's lots of people's birthdays, and we're having fun and celebrating, and I'm going to eat delicious cheesecake all night. And then I'm going to come home and probably stay up late again, because that's just in my nature. But then I don't have to go to work until the evening. So I'll get to sleep in, if I can sleep in, as much as I want. I'll have, hopefully, a response from a contact at my school. I'll send a couple of emails, and then I'll give this whole situation some time. And then I'll be back to let you all know what, if I decided to go now, or if I decided to just wait. So, I will say goodbye for now. I should be saying goodnight for now, but I just ate some cake and ice cream. I think I'll be eating cake and ice cream for the next five days. <laughs>
and I don't want to go to sleep after just eating some cake ice cream. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll say goodnight for now, and I'll be back with more news.